Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Conquistador Corona. I bought this as sort of a um, budget cigar. It's very cheap, and it's a decent size. It's your uh, pretty average Corona size. It is 5.5 by 42 ring gauge. It's supposed to be medium flavoured with an Ecuador wrapper. There's no mention of the filler or the binder. But yeah, only £5.29. It's supposed to be, you know, real budget cigar. I'm looking for some good budget scars, so um, that's how I came onto this one. So, on these cigars, I would usually do a punch cut, but in this case, let's just cut clean across. It looks like long filler. There is no mention of this as um, hand filled or not, where I got this from. Sorry, handmade. So, uh, it probably is looking by it. It seems to be long filler. So uh, that could be good. The wrapper definitely, um, definitely quite a bright wrapper. See, it's probably on the lighter side. Never, that never indicates you know light flavor like um, the Drew Estate Undercrown Shade. That's definitely quite you know a hefty flavored cigar. This one, going by the smell of it, actually smells quite light. So definitely smells just a very light tobacco, just generic tobacco, whilst these scars seem to be. So yeah, I quite like the brand. I mainly just picked this because of the name. I looked at some scars, the Lou Martinez Ashcroft Corona was another one I chose for, you know, a budget cigar of this size. And um, yeah, the name of this one, Conquistador, I like it quite a bit. So I decided I would give it a go. The band uh, looks quite easy to rip off, doesn't seem stuck on with much. This might be hard to show. Um, I'm not sure if it's even going to focus on this, but there's actually looks like little stress marks where the um, where the band was. I'm not sure why my oil focus never decides to work, but <laughs> we'll give it a break today. The wrapper looks pretty good overall. Some veins can't really feel much. It's quite good outer wrapper. So what's inside of it that we need to worry about though? So much air just flowing right through that. Like um, almost no resistance to that at all. So I'm just getting my stopwatch ready here. Just uh, refilled on my lighters luckily. Um, yeah. Sorry the review standard isn't great today. I missed... Um, I meant to do this review on Thursday, but Saturday today, so just so I didn't miss one. Point and turn at the uh, foot of the scars per usual. Stop watch start. Well, a huge. Um, Overflowing, now you taste. A little bit of the cap just uh, remaining there that would annoy me to the end of my days. And we Pretty nice looking band, I would say. It looks pretty bland overall, but uh, that face there is pretty good, the uh, ships. As I said, I'm not expecting too much from this scar. It is a budget scar, £5.29. Incredibly cheap. Probably machine made cigar. Definitely got the um, completely aerated feel of um, short filler. It's actually quite pleasant. I really should be uh, sponsored by Pepsi by now, but <laughs> you know what's going to happen. <clears throat> the ash on that condensing quite a bit. So uh, the quality of the tobacco on this seems. <clears throat> the construction actually seems quite good, but uh, yeah, it's questionable what's in this. I 
that's got a sort of um a little raspy spice on it it's um it is a really light quite smooth flavor a little bit generic tobacco ecuador tobacco yes um it's not very distinct taste ecuador tobacco tastes a lot like others there's no you know distinct taste but um i think if you've had the maharis ecuador minis so you would know exactly what that tastes like it does taste um a little bit like a uh, castella classic those kind of smaller cigarillos To be fair, it's like a giant Castell Classic. You know, it's quite a light, generic tobacco, nutty flavour. Just, uh, you know, generic stuff. That's actually a pretty decent smoke. So, uh, since I don't think it's going to last too long, I'm not going to keep smoking this very quickly for the review. So... I'm going to um, stop here and I'll resume when I've gone maybe down to about here on the score. And I'll give you an update on the flavours then. So I'll see you in a second. So a uh, just quick um, update on this. 14 or 15 minutes in. Pretty astonished by the ash. Flavour. Again, a general nutty taste. It's fairly consistent, but um, the tar build up right at the plug. You know, it's quite quite a lot for a small scar like this. It's, um, generally, that only happens as you get towards the end. Some sources say this is hand rolled, so it must be long filler. And also, it appears to be Nicaraguan filler. I'd probably say that sounds about right, going by the taste. Anyway, I'll just quick update. I'll see you in the next clip in a couple seconds. We'll be a bit further down the scar then. Welcome back. We are 26, 27 minutes into this cigar. I was planning on making one of the ends, but I thought I'd make a quick one now while we're just over halfway. Just, you know, update on the flavour. So far, it's so good. The ash was incredible. It was about at least two inches. For a very cheap cigar, it's £5.29. You're completely on the um, light palette. It's really, when I say medium... I don't believe that. It's completely a light cigar. But it seems really good construction. Assuming that it's long filler inside. I've read some places it's probably hand rolled, so. Yeah, the tar build up is really um it's probably the only real issue I've got in this. Ever since just in from the start, even without smoking it as harshly as I do in my review segments, the tar was really um you're getting a strong taste of that. Maybe it's the tobacco. I don't really know. I bought this from um cigars and you know it's stored in their humidors and then they're all individually packaged and I was putting my humidor since I got it a while back. Seventy eight percent. I think that's one I think that one's sixty eight actually. Um yeah, kept in a single packet, so I don't think it's going to be a humidity problem, but it does does feel overly moist. Burn doesn't seem affected, though. The burn's been very consistent. Ash has been great. The burn's consistent. Construction overall is great. But yeah, maybe a little bit of tar in the tobacco there. Definitely quite a light flavour. You probably might not like the tart taste. It's a little bit, you know, maybe on the spicy side. But, yeah. In general, so far, so good. I think uh, if you give this decently long rest, it's still going to stay lit quite well. And you should get a more consistent, smoother flavour, which um, so far has always just been a plain tobacco, sort of. Very bland like your generic mini scars, but maybe a little bit um, a little bit nutty tasting, I would guess. No special flavours in it, but for a good, cheap cigar, so far it's really winning out. So, uh, as I said, we're near half an hour in, so that's quite a good time. We're probably going to get to the end. I'll make another clip when we do. So, I will see you in a little bit.
All right. We're about 42 minutes in. Just taking the rear quick puff now. I would say this is a 45 minutes ago, or we probably have a couple of minutes left on this. But for the purposes of this review, it's over. Again, with the tar and the flavour, that probably... That would lead you to believe maybe it's probably up to a medium. But um, really light flavours in there. It's not even that bad, the tar taste. It's... Um, yeah, I, I keep saying that because it is quite is quite prominent in there, but the general base tobacco is still probably the main taste. You're getting a lot of it. It's quite a light, good cigar throughout. Maybe a little bit uh, cheap feeling because of that taste, but I would say it's quite good. It's £5.29. I think it's a phenomenal cigar. Absolutely love it. Definitely going to be buying more of these, just as like um, humidor fillers, maybe just have them sitting around. Definitely would be, you know, quite a nice thing to have around if I wanted a quick, good smoke. Probably pick up one of these, not feeling like I'm wasting a lot of money if I don't smoke it fully. But, yeah. It seems to be quite good construction. Everything about it quite good. For the value, it's 9 out of 10. It's, it does not really much better value than that. Phenomenal score. So, I think that's going to be it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the descriptions of my videos. Then I've got things like, you know, links to the sites that I buy my scars from. You can buy them from there as well. There's also, um, what's it called? You could also see my Patreon there. There you could um, donate monthly amounts to me. It's just sort of like a donation subscription service where you donate maybe like a dollar a month or something. It's um, something I just throw out there. I buy cigars with the money when it gets enough. Also, my Facebook page there. If you like that, then you'll see whenever I go, whenever I live stream my reviews, since I currently live stream all of them you'll also see a whole bunch of stuff i don't post here on youtube so um i believe that's everything thanks for watching and goodbye